Well, still to come this morning, we are showing you how to create easy decorations for your Cinco de Mayo party this year. That's right. Cinco de Mayo is right around the corner. If you're looking for an easy, fun, and inexpensive way to decorate, we have some ideas for you. And joining us now to tell us how we can decorate for the holiday, under $100 is America's top balloon expert, Sandy Masori. You're also called the Martha Stewart of balloons. Some people have called me that, yeah. I love that. <laughs> okay, so let's jump in to the decorations, the big decorations that you have. Yeah. What's this one? This here, this is just kind of a standard column. We have, it's a five balloon pack. Okay. So your normal building block of balloons, like this one here, it's based on a four pack. So okay. four balloons twisted together. Okay. And that one has five to make it a little bit fuller, a little bit more festive. Yeah. And it's on a lamp stand. Okay. So something nice. you can just find anywhere. Super easy. You can get that at Goodwill for very cheap. Exactly. Okay, and, and here, this one right here. This this right here, this is just kind of, we have the squiggles going around, so we have some negative space to it, a lot okay. of energy. Yeah. And this one here. The one with the hat and the big yes. balloons. Yes. Uh -huh. So these are just foil balloons that I have taped to the stand. Oh. That's it. You're so Simple. clever. You it's know so that? much fun. We, you know, there, there's so many shapes and sizes. There's so much that you can do with it. Yeah, absolutely. And this is something that you can find in your book that we have right here, right? The DIY Balloon Bible for All Seasons. That's okay. right. We have all kinds of designs, something for every month. Um, variations of these designs are in it. Yeah. Okay. Now, if somebody um, doesn't get the book, they can reach out to you on your website, though, correct? Yes, DIYBalloonArt.com. Easy enough. Yes, and on my website, I have resources. I have a free beginner's balloon guide. Okay. I have videos all kinds of information okay. for somebody just getting started. Okay, so speaking of getting started, we're making maracas We're today. making maracas, yes! This okay. is going to be so much fun. So, we're going to be using these long skinny balloons, the 260s. That's okay, right. Great. Long skinny, two long skinny. Yeah, take, your, take two of your favorite colors there. These are okay. my favorite colors. Okay, and so what we're going to do, these, the reason that these are called 260s is because they're approximately two inches wide and 60 inches long when fully inflated. Okay. Approximately. Got it. So, first of all, we want to give it a little stretch. Okay, now these are fully inflated, but they're a little bit squishy, just so that we can maneuver them without them yeah. popping. So yeah. we're going to give it a little stretch and then push it down so that we can tie it together into a circle, okay. just like that. Okay? Tying balloons. If tying balloons isn't your thing, don't worry, you get better at it as you practice. It, it's definitely something that requires practice. It's a muscle memory thing. Okay. Okay, now we're just going to pinch it on one side just like that. Got it. And then we're going to roll one side over. Oh, no. <laughs> I thought I was good at tying balloons, but mine came apart. Okay. Yeah, double knot. Double, double knot, just like your shoes. That's what yes. it is. The double knot, just like when you teach your child, you got a double knot. Double knot. play around all day. Yes. Got it. Okay, so now we have kind of like a pair of lips. Yes. La, 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 la. Of course. Okay, and we're going to take it, and we're just going to find our center again by folding it over, okay. and then we're going to twist in the center, and then we're going to fold it over and just roll one side through the other. Okay. Good. Yeah. Yep, don't be scared yet. And then just grab there, twist uh, one side. Okay. There you go. Got it. Okay. And then we put it here. That's right. So now we have kind of like one. a football shape. The sound of balloons. Ooh, 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 okay, yeah, squeaky serenade. So we have my football shape. That's right. Now right. we're going to take our second 260. We're going to fold it in half. Okay. Find our center. And then we're going to take it and stick it right through here and pull it up. So it's kind of like hanging out like a... Uh, I don't know what it looks like. Like in tennis. Like, like a, a tennis. bunny in tennis. Yeah, there you okay. go. Like the old TV in tennis. Yes. And we're going to just twist it into a spiral just like that. And then squeeze and twist the ends. <laughs> great. Yeah, you're doing a great job. With practice. So right now it kind of looks like a little tulip or something. Okay. Yeah, and, and then, then squeeze and twist. And twist. Like okay. so. Now, here comes the messy part. So okay. I've pre-prepared this. But what we're going to use to make the sound is plain old everyday sugar. Another cheap item. Another cheap item. Got That's it. right. Okay. And so we're just going to, I'll take the yellow one here. I'm going to take the balloon. Okay. And I'm going to very, very carefully, mm -hmm. trying not to get sugar everywhere, <laughs> pour luck. the sugar into the balloon. Okay. And I'm going to use two sugar packets. For extra sound. For extra sound. And now the key to this, and this is very important. Uh-huh is that when we inflate these balloons, we're inflating them right inside of this. It's going to be okay. very underinflated and squishy okay. so that if we had it fully inflated, the sugar could be abrasive, it could pop. But when we have it, it squishy, it won't. Okay, so I take a balloon. Yep, take a balloon. And I'm going to use this. You're, yeah, go ahead and use the pump. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're just going to inflate it right Got inside it. here until it just bowls out. Oh, you're quicker than the pump. Just like that. 
Yeah. And so the, yeah, keep going. Gotta go fast because you don't want it to. There you go. Okay. And I'm gonna just grab that for you because we oh, don't that's want. that's right. If we don't want sugar to fly everywhere. She told me that if you don't pinch it, then the sugar flies everywhere, and that's what we don't want. That's right. We don't. We don't want a sugar storm. Okay. So I'm just gonna tie it. Now we're gonna roll this down so that it fills it and that we have the nozzle kind of coming into the end. We're just gonna wrap that around just like that. Okay. Yeah. And then we can play our maracas. Oh, my and the gosh, kids I love it. Love these, and they also double as boppers. Oh, I love it. Okay, <laughs> great. Well, if you want any information on Sandy or on her book or on how you can make these maracas, just head over to Casa.com. We'll have all the information there. So. All right, guys.